Assume ideal of pump for 2 volt peak to peak sinusoidal input VI with 0 DC component what is V out. So uh, we need to find the, the output the output waveform what is the waveform of this uh, circuit consists of two operational amplifiers and the input is given to this amplifier and it is a sinusoidal input with 2 volt peak to peak. Okay. So, 2 volt peak to peak voltage is given. 2 volt. Okay. So, what is the output? A. Sine wave. B. Square wave. C. Pulse strain. Then D. Triangular wave. So, if you see this, this is, we are going to give a sinusoidal input as V input. And what is the output of this operational amplifier? It is a square wave, right? So, how this square wave is generated? That is 4. Since it is connected to the inverting terminal, if a positive peak is coming, it produces a negative peak for the, or the negative, uh, it goes to the negative for your square wave. Likewise, a square wave is generated. And this square wave is given to the second operational amplifier. And this is connected to the output via a capacitor. So what happens when this capacitor is coming here or in the circuit? Means when the peak of the square wave is, is uh, coming, the capacitor charges and for the negative uh, path or the negative cycle of this square wave, it discharges. So, a charging and discharging of the capacitor is actually your output or your V out. So, what is the charging and discharging waveform of a capacitor? It is a triangular wave. So, this like this, the, the capacitor charges and discharges. So, since the capacitor is discharging slowly, it will be a triangular wave. Okay, so the output of this circuit is actually a triangular wave. So, your correct option here is option D, triangular wave. Okay, so in order to answer this, you need to find or you need to understand what is the output of your first op-amp and then it is given to the second op-amp and the capacitor output is connected to the output voltage terminal. So, here so during this square wave is coming to the capacitor, the capacitor charges and discharges and this is forming a triangular wave. Okay, so for this, this question, the correct answer is option D. What is the value of current? So a network or circuit is given, which is actually on some nodes, connection of certain nodes and uh, some of the branches are having current values also. We need to find the value of I, that is the current flowing through this branch. Okay, so the options are option A, 2 ampere, option B, 3 ampere, option C, 1 ampere and option D, 4 ampere. Okay, so how to find this? We need to actually apply the Kirchhoff current law to solve this. What is Kirchhoff current law say? That is the current flowing to a node is equal to the current flowing out of the node. So, if you closely examine this central node, you can see two currents are coming to the node, right? What are the two currents coming to the node? It is 6 ampere and 2 ampere. So, 6 plus 2 is equal to and the current leaving the node are, the nodes are or the node are 5 ampere and 3 ampere. So, 5 plus 3 that is 8 is equal to 8. So, the Kirchhoff current law is correct, right? For the central node. So, that is how you have to solve it. So, here the two currents are coming and its sum is equal to the currents leaving. Okay, so it is balanced. Now, if you see, there is a 1 ampere current flowing through this branch and this 1 ampere is not being splitted to here or here or anywhere. So, it is directly, it is not splitted here or here. It is directly flowing like this. So, if it was splitted, then the then the current equation will not get balanced. Okay, so, so we can infer that this current is flowing from this branch or this path, it is coming here. So the value of current I will be what? The current I is equal to 1 ampere. Because I am saying it again, that is if you see the center node, here the currents coming, the sum of currents coming is equal to the currents leaving the node. So it is a balanced system. So, this current I1 is, sorry, this current 1 ampere is not coming to this 
not. So it is flowing this path and it is same as your I value which is equal to 1 ampere itself. So for this question the correct answer is option C which is 1 ampere. The logical output of the combination of three gates represents a dash. So what is this gate? This combination is representing some gate. What is that gate? A NAND gate, B XOR gate, C AND gate or B OR gate. Okay, so let us examine this. This is a very simple network or a circuit. So here A, the output will be, if you short the input then there is a NOT gate. So it is A bar. So B here and the output of this gate is B bar. And this is a what, what gate? It is a NOR gate. So take the sum of A bar and B bar and take the NOT. That is the output Y is, a, is actually A bar plus B bar T whole bar. Now apply De Morgan's law. What is De Morgan's law? A bar plus B bar the whole bar is equal to A double bar into B double bar or the De Morgan's law is actually A plus B the whole bar is equal to A bar into B bar. Here the inputs are A bar and B bar. So a double bar into B double bar. So this is equal to A double bar is A. B double bar is B. So A into B. So this is a what gate? This is a AND gate. So the correct answer for this question is option C. question is in an 8 bit 2's complement number system inversion of all 8 bits occur during code transition from what number to what number? Option A, minus 127 to 128. B, 0 to plus 127. C, plus 126 to 127. D, minus 1 to 0. Now we know that for all 8 bits to change or invert, that is from 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, that is 8 bits. All 8s are 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 8 ones. So for inversion of all 8 bits means it has to be 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 0. Right. That is 8 ones from 8 ones to 8 zeros. Only then all the bits are inverted. Okay. So they are asking in 8 bit. 2's complement number system, what is this transition? That is, if you see this, in the 2's complement, it is minus 1, right? This is a minus 1 and this is a 0. So, from what to what transition makes all the bits to invert? That is, from minus 1 to 0, right? So, for this question, the correct answer is option D. That is, if from minus 1 to 0 transition is taking place, then all the 8 bits are inverted in the 2's complement number system or according to the 2's complement number system, from minus 1 to 0, all the 8 bits are inverted. So the correct answer for this question is option D. What is the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor? So I have given an arrow here. We need to find the voltage across this 10 ohm resistor. And how to solve this? We can apply source transformation principle in order to solve such type of questions. Okay, so if you see this circuit, there is a current source, there are voltage sources. So this is a mixed type of source. So we need to actually simplify the sources to either voltage source or current source. Replace this current source with a voltage source connecting this resistor in series. That is if there is a current source and a resistor like this. You can replace it with a voltage source and a resistor that is this same resistor in series. This is actually source transformation principle. And if you are not familiar with this, please do watch the video on source transformation. I will share the link in my description box. Okay, so I am going to convert this current source here to a voltage source. Now how to obtain the value of that voltage source? It is given by Vs is equal to Is into Rs. Now this Is is your current source value which is 0.25 into your Rs value which is the resistor to be connected in series. That is 40. So 0.25 into 40 is 10 volt. So your Vs value is 10 volt. Now I am going to replace this this much 
with a voltage source here with value 10 volt and the resistor will not go anywhere it will come in series with the voltage source the value is same as that of 40 so i hope this is this much is clear so this portion we have replaced okay now if you see there are two voltage sources there are two resistors we can find the value of current flowing through this this network or this portion of this network so there is a 10 volt there is a 5 volt so if you see they are opposite direction or the battery connection is opposite so what is the value of current current i is equal to voltage by resistor value right so 10 volt minus 5 volt by 40 plus 10 that is 50 okay so why we have taken this 10 minus 5 because they are in opposite that voltage sources are in opposite connection and the resistors are connected in series so we have taken 40 plus 10 which is 50 so i hope it is clear and again there is one more thing that how to find the direction of this 10 volt. So we have obtained this 10 volt by replacing a current source, right? The, the arrow of the current source was like this, right? The arrow was like this. So the current is flowing in this direction, right? So the current is flowing in this direction. That is why the arrow was towards the up. Or if the current was flowing in the opposite direction, it was towards the down. Okay, so... We need to connect the battery like positive to negative so that the current is flowing in this direction. So if you, if you don't want to understand that part, just ignore it. Anyways, you have to take the difference of these two voltage sources and divide it with the equivalent resistance value that is 40 plus 10. So you will get 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 by 50 is 1 by 10 which is equal to 0.1 ampere. This is the port, the current. So we have obtained the current value in the network. I is equal to 0 0.1 ampere. And this is the current flowing through this 10 ohm. So what is the voltage value? Voltage V is equal to I into R. That is 0 0.1 into 10 which is equal to 1 volt. So the correct answer for this question is your option A which is 1 volt. So these are the questions which I have included in this video. We will be seeing in the next video with more questions from 2018 technical assistant exam and also side by side I am uh, doing videos on the subject wise preparation for the technical assistant exam. So if you are somebody who is preparing for technical assistant exam please do watch all these videos and please I recommend you to watch the videos on ISRO scientist also because it is having a little more uh, difficult questions. Uh, I have discussed in those videos. If you want to practice those, please do watch that videos also. Okay, and if you have any doubts regarding the core subject, I have done a lot of videos on the core subjects like DSP, network, etc. which are being used in these questions, that is while solving these questions. I'll share the required uh, video links in the description box anyways. Okay, so if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with all your friends who are preparing for the exams. And... If you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.